So this is an intro into a number of different tutorials I'm going to do to cover a, a workflow through uh, different software packages and analysis using this data set in which we have a, a, a nuclear channel which didn't label quite as well as we would have hoped and there may be cases where you've got a large amount of data that you don't want to waste or you may not be able to take it again if it's a, a primary cell line for example and so what we're going to do is figure out a plan B with a workaround and so like I say, the, the, the DAPI channel is off, and typically you'll use that as a marker to identify the number of cells. What we're going to do as a plan B is use the bright field um, in, in Elastic and the machine learning model to identify the area of the cells, and then quantify the, the cytoplasmic signal here in the red channel using the areas we generate from the bright field channel here. So we're going to run it in a Fiji. We're going to use a macro to um, export the TIFFs. Elastic doesn't take in all the different file formats, so this is a, one of the occasions when I would recommend to export to a TIFF. Um, Elastic, maybe something like MATLAB might be easier to use TIFFs as well. Um, so we're going to write that macro, export to Elastic, we're going to annotate a basic model there and then generate these probability maps of the areas of the cells. From there we're going to use those two um, parts of the data, the red channel and the TIFF, into Cell Profiler and then quantify that particular signal and export the data. And there'll be a quick aside on Power BI and pivot tables in Excel on how to handle some of the, the bigger sheets you get from Cell Profiler. Also, um, just to kind of follow up and connect it to a different series, we're going to do a couple on Vision 4D, take the same workflow. Vision 4D has an annotation-based machine learning model built in, and it's built into a pipeline similar to Cell Profiler. It's proprietary you know, and expensive, but you know it does give you a quick um, and easy workflow. So if you have it available in your core facility of your university, definitely recommend it. Obviously, it's good to learn all of these free packages because you know free is great. And as another aside, we're going to um, look at some of the other options on how to clean up data sets that, that didn't come out so well. Um, Stardist does a wonderful job if you represent this DAPI channel in a grayscale, which you should do because the eyes don't pick up on the blue. You can just about make out some of those faint signals. We're going to do another few tutorials on something like Stardist and some of these noise to machine learning models to remove some of that noise to help with that process as well. To start with, in the first part of this tutorial series, we will jump to Fiji and we'll write a macro to export the TIFFs.